<laughs> Are you prepared in any way, shape, or form? Yeah. Oh, baby, I'm always What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, baby, <laughs> We're doing a scary video, which means we're gonna have scary music now. Ooh, is that scary? <laughs> scary, what's your scary voice? Hey, what's up, you guys? <laughs> Hey guys, uh, I'm scary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so as you guys know, Tana does conspiracy videos on her channel too. We did one. I have one. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided today in our collab, why don't we talk more about the conspiracy that we can't stop talking about? The Mandela effect. <laughs> um, no, I genuinely believe the fucking Mandela effect. Actually, same as fuck. Actually, I hate when people just talk about it because it's like, get your knee. Like, I fucking, I stan it. I've been there since day one. MandelaEffect.com hashtag no, Matt's I knew Mandela sponsor. before her glow up. Yeah, like, I knew her when she was just like in like a subcategory no. on Reddit and nobody knew no. who she was. Okay, so I've compiled up a list of all the new Mandela effects that I didn't know about. You might know okay. a few of them, but they freaked me the fuck out. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. First one, Chick fil A. Have you heard about this one? No. Okay, so Chick fil A, I don't really go to, but I've seen the sign all the time, obviously. And yeah. in my head, the Chick fil A sign looks like this. Yeah, no, that is what it looks like. No, it's always been chick filet with a K. With a K. No, right? No, that's so fucked up. This is why I stand in the middle. I'm like, that's so fucked up. Fuck you, chick filet. Fuck this shit. Sorry, you're never getting sponsored by them. <laughs> oh my god. No, and chick filet came out about this because everybody's been tweeting recently because, like, I think it just happened. Yeah. And chick filet's like, uh, no, it's always been a K. Like, stop talking about this. Like, you're making something out of nothing. Literally, no, it hasn't. No, it has. It's always been a C because I've been like, that's spelled wrong. When I was a kid, I'd be like, that's spelled wrong. Oh my god. I'm so shook. I am. So, this is not a thing. Like, I didn't even know about this at all. Really? It's okay. freaky. You know how all other Mandela effects I feel like happened like a long time ago? Like yeah. the Berenstein Bears, mm -hmm. Berenstein Bears one? Like, mm -hmm. you feel like it happened a long time ago. Yeah. I feel like this just happened. This I feel like I was just, just at Chick-fil-A. So here's what some people think. Some people think, this is really creepy, that the world was supposed to end in 2000. Like, you okay. remember the whole, well, you yes. know, you weren't born. No, I do remember that actually. So it was like was Y2K. Too. It was like this whole thing with the world's gonna end, right? So some people think that the world did did end and we went to a parallel universe and that's when the Berenstein and all that other stuff. Okay. Then people think the world ended again oh, in 2012. 2012. Yeah. And that's when the chick fil -A thing happened. <laughs> okay, are you ready for the next one? This one I specifically remember literally a month ago buying this and seeing this label. Okay. And now it's different. Okay, Kit Kat. Have you heard this one? No. Okay. So Kit Kat, right? <laughs> Kit dash cat. Kit Kat. Okay, yeah. No. It's never had a dash. Wait, that's fucked up. That's right? Not, that's not true. That's not true. This is like never, it's fucking 1942, this logo. It's like never it's had a dash. And I looked, I googled, it's never had a dash. I even went into my fucking candy station. I have a candy station. Station. <laughs> station. No, station, bitch. <laughs> I even went there and I pulled one out, bitch. Kit Kat, no dash. That's fucked That fucks me up. That's fucked It's always been Kit Kat. That's just like Kit Kat. Like, it's not, it's not enough. I don't no. believe it. That's like wrong. I feel like somebody made this and it's like not, like, <laughs> like someone on Twitter made that. I don't think that's their actual logo. No. You need a new graphic designer, Kit Kat. Oh, this one, this is gonna actually destroy your life. I'm scared. Have you ever played the game Monopoly? Yes, actually. So you know the little guy? Yeah. The Monopoly guy. The Monopoly man. Tell me how he looks, like describe it. It's just like a little guy. Does he wear a hat? Uh-huh. And like, like, by him, like, he's like. Uh-huh. Does he have anything else, like, on his face? Or... I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, what is he famous for? Being the Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's famous for having the monocle. Like, he's like. Oh, yeah. The Monopoly guy with the monocle. Do you not know what that is? I know what a monocle is, but I don't think. Like, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do, and I was the biggest Monopoly fan, literally of all time. I would play that shit all the time because it would take 12 hours. You didn't need friends. It was great. Uh, wait, you played by yourself? <laughs> I played with my mom. How do you, okay, okay, that's okay. That's normal. I thought you just like played by yourself. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all the money's mine. I was like, that's really fucking sad. Okay, like play with your mom. That's what I'm saying. Well, the Monopoly guy has never had a wait. Okay, you're right. This doesn't look right. His face looks different. You're right. Okay. He always had the little fucking dangling mo People that are dressed as a Monopoly guy, they all have a monocle. All oh, of them. Look. Okay. I dress up as a Monopoly guy. I don't have a picture of it. I wish you had a picture so bad. I would pay money for that. Legitimately. Like a merch. I think you have merch of you as like little kid Shane. Oof, nobody wants that. I want it. Oof, God. No, that one freaks me out because like, like genuinely, he's always had a monocle. That's why he's famous because he's the rich guy with a little monocle okay. and he's like, ooh, money. No, yeah, I believe that. I like, he looks different there. I like, I see your like vibe. But, like if you look up pictures of the Monopoly man now, there's none of him with the monocle no. at all. And the people who made Monopoly, Milton Bradley, I think is the name. I Googled yeah, it and they said- Milton Bradley. <laughs> they, <laughs> I think Milton Bradley. <laughs> they put out a statement too saying that he's never had a monocle. 
Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. Okay. Still stuck on the Chick Fil A one. Okay. This one, I don't know if it's really Mandela as much as it might be like my brain just can't process spelling. The word fridge has a D in it, right? Fridge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fridge. I fucking see that the word refrigerator, which is just a longer version of fridge, does not have a fucking D in it. It's spelled like this. When you run out of Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, Mandela. Wait, fridge. look, look, fridge, refrigerator. Yeah, Why is there be? <laughs> you know, thousands of people probably tweeted you like amazing Mandela <laughs> like and that's just the one that you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. That would scare me more than anything because I'm like, hold on. Every time you pass by a fridge, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> well, because why? Where's the D? Yeah. What do you mean when I'm screaming? Where's the D? The D? Um, <laughs> no, but like Same. seriously, where's the D? Anyways. Yeah. Okay, now this one is actually crazy. You might be too young for this. The show I Love Lucy. So Desi Arnaz, who is the husband, he always had this catchphrase. Okay. And there's memes of it, like everybody's quoted in movies. And he goes, Lucy, you have some splaining to do. Okay, yes. He never said that! <laughs> Means and they're not real because he never fucking said that. I look, they, they're at the search, and then the people who wrote the show are dead. But <laughs> big well, fans of the show have been like, no, he's never said that. I like how when you like imitated them, was like, he's never like fuck them, like fuck those people. Low key, that's fucked. Isn't that crazy? Because literally when I was a kid, like I used to watch that all the time. I reruns of that because I'm five. But yeah, right. But like, well, you'd have to be actually eighty to have seen that when you <laughs> really. Oh really? Yeah. It's like from the fifties. Oh. Okay, <laughs> Speaking of, this is another quote from a movie that never happened. Have you ever seen Science of the Lambs? I think so. Okay, so it's Hannibal Lecter, he eats Oh, people, yes, right? yes, yes. So the most famous line from that movie is when he goes, Hello, Clarice. That's like the most famous line. They even talked about it in like some Jim Carrey movie. Here's a clip. Can I have your skin? Sure. Check this out. Hello, Clarice. Um, he never said that. This is so fucked. Like all of these movie things that like people said and now they're saying like they never said them. And never said like, that. like Luke, I am your father. I don't like I don't understand. Like no. I don't get it at all. No. Here's an actual <coughs> clip from that from that moment in the Science of the Lambs where he just says, Good morning. Check it out. Good morning. So he didn't say hello Clarice. He didn't that's say fucked. it. That's fucked. That's literally fucked. I feel like I've seen that on shirts too, in like stores and shit like that. Shirts, memes. Like with the guy's like fucking face. Yeah, the guy's face, his like the quote, like that's the thing. That's what Damn. I don't understand is I feel like, oh my god, we should, well, not that we could ever get in touch with them, but the actors from the movie <laughs> should We're not that important. It. Like what if the actor from the movie is like, I said that. And then he watches the movie and he's like, I said that. Oh my god, wait, that's actually so weird. If you think about it, like hitting off the actor being what did you say? What it, I wonder what they would remember. Right? Like them. What they would remember. So I can't get in touch with them, but BuzzFeed, you probably can. Oh my god, me. <laughs> Make it happen. Okay, this one it might just be like a fuck up, but it actually fucks me up. So the song. <laughs> <laughs> the song for Christmas. I'm gonna say what, I'm gonna do the melody and you tell me what the words are. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. Deck the halls with bells of holly. No, bitch. <laughs> no, bitch. Mm -mm. It what actually is, is wrong. This is wrong. deck the hall. Just one hall. We were asking. One hall. Like that's the it. The song is literally called deck the hall. <laughs> it's never been hall. <laughs> wait, wait. Is that the name of that song? Deck the like deck hall. What? Get the fuck out! No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I want to speak with the creator of that song. Deck the hall. That's deck the name the of the hall. Song. Just deck, yes, deck, deck the, the hall. hall. The name of the song is now deck the hall. <laughs> Like the other like five, just like no, just one hall. We'll deck it. How many times? I'm saying that song. Well, I haven't really saying that song that much, but I heard that song. Deck the halls, but like it literally, that's, that's what it is. That's funny. how has it always been. Deck the hall. Play a clip. That's not it. Okay, this one's crazy too. So remember, okay, I'm gonna tell you something. You tell me who it is. Okay. So in the woods, by like campgrounds, there's a bunch of signs for a bear who's telling you not to light fires. What's his name? Smokey the bear. Is it? <laughs> or is it just Smokey Bear? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's uh, always been Smokey the bear. And that Smokey makes bear. No Smokey sense. bear. And that Smokey just, bear? Yeah. Why would he be Smokey Bear if he doesn't want smoke? Yeah, like no, that literally makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> 
<laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. No, and then the Wikipedia page, if you look, it says Smokey Bear is an American. Like they literally say his name Smokey Bear. I feel like even like five year olds would. Re I feel like that one's also recent. Yeah, that one is definitely. Recent. I feel like that was definitely just like Smokey Bear. Like you know, I don't know. Okay, this one is kind of confusing to me, but I also don't know anything about fashion. Have you heard about the color chartreuse? Do you know what that is? I, I know what this effect is, but like I stand it. Like you may continue. Okay. Like, we're on the same fucking page. Okay, so the color chartreuse. I thought forever that it's like maybe a red or pink or like in that family, yeah. like chartreuse. No, it like, was. Wasn't there even characters named chartreuse no, who were all like red and pink and shit no, in like movies? It was. No, no, no. It's actually it's some piss yellow, yellow green. Piss ass yellow. Piss. The chartreuse. fuck are you talking it's about? Piss. That can't. That literally is insane. I think that that one's also recent because I feel like I remember coloring like with crayons as a kid yeah. and like crayons being like chartreuse. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, like stand it. Like would buy its merch. <laughs> like one hundred percent. Oh like, my god! We'll you go should get a shirt that's like pinkish red and it's put like the chartreuse. original chartreuse <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god fuck i'm like link below 1999 okay last one so this one has been very controversial it's been like very viral i'm sure you've seen it i still don't know where i stand on it because it fucks me up so the mona lisa have you heard about this one mm -hmm. so everybody from who i've talked to from i remember remembers the mona lisa not smiling she had like a tiny, maybe tiny hint of a smile, yeah, like, like, but that's why people call it like the Mona Lisa smile because it's like a shady, not real smile. It's literally like just a hint of it, right? right? There's even been songs about it where it's like, oh, she has the Mona Lisa smile. Like, she's not really smiling. She's frowning. Right? Yeah. Mona Lisa had a glow up because this is what she looks like now. <laughs> right? I have to go home. She's like... First of all, the this bitch is me so actually awesome. smiling. She's smiling with her eyes. Too. This is my eyes, Tyra she's, Banks. Yas, queen, yas. Also, she looks very female. Like, she looks more feminine. Like, almost she, hot. Yeah, like she that job looks though. good. Like, facial lipo? <laughs> <laughs> Like she before, Doctor Simon Ori in Los Angeles. Like she has a little cleavage. I feel like she's changed. I feel like they literally sexualized Mona Lisa. Like if I was a guy, like I let her like dome me up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Mona Lisa sucking a dick. Everyone just take a moment. Like, Imagine Mona Lisa in the doggy style position, like looking back at it. Imagine Mona Lisa getting her hair pulled. Like, yes, guys. <laughs> She was a freak. Mona Lisa a freak though. Oh, oh my god. My god. Well, there you guys go. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> No, but really, if you guys believe any of these like we do, let us know in the comments. And if you have any more, let I us honestly know. don't give a fuck about any of that. Just let me know if you think Mona Lisa is a freak. <laughs> <laughs> also, make sure to go over to her channel because we did a crazy video over there where we did a lot of <laughs> bad, bad shit. Maybe we even had sex. I don't know. She's 18 now. Uh, sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below because I make new videos every single day. And if you want to see more videos of me doing conspiracy theories or her doing conspiracy theories, I'll put a link to a playlist right below. All right, you guys, don't believe everything you see. That was so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> this next suicide attempt happened in Phoenix, Arizona, and it is one of the most disturbing. So a group of people were watching in Phoenix, Arizona, as a man climbed to the top of a 400-foot radio tower. The police were begging him to come down, but he would not listen. The wind is so powerful, it begins to sway and lose his balance. 